Hi, year nine. We're going to do a bit of sketching, three dimensional sketching. We're going to do the basics and isometric. Um, we're going to learn a couple of wee skills so that you can draw your weather vane uh, stand initially, and then we'll, we'll do a wee bit more later on with all the other different components. So I'm going to use pen, but you're going to use pencil so you can rub it out. Um, so basically, isometric drawing is where you do a two dimensional sketch which represents a three dimensional object. So um, Try to do it freehand, don't, don't use a ruler. Um, draw a vertical line, okay, and draw a horizontal line about there. And then everything, um, th you'll rub these out afterwards. So this is 30 degrees to the horizontal, about 30 degrees, yeah. And another one about 30 degrees. That's where, oh, not, not brilliant 30 degrees, but it's not bad. This is, ISO means CMR, so the two, those two angles should be the same, okay. Right, so we're just gonna do a cube, um, so come up the same dimension as you go out, okay, r roughly. I'm not, I'm not going to measure it, I'm just going to... This is freehand sketching and just getting into the way of doing... So vertical lines are always vertical. So these lines here, one, two, three, these are the vertical uh, edges of the cube. And all the other lines, which would normally be horizontal, they are um, at 30 degrees to... The horizontal okay and they're all parallel to each other so that's parallel to that which is parallel to that so there's your initial cube um let's let's do another one so again vertical a horizontal nice and light 30 degrees to the horizontal and 30 degrees to the horizontal let's do a, a tall thinner one okay so come up about this much and do 30 degrees to horizontal, 30 degrees. And instead of going out quite a bit, I'm just gonna come out here and I can rub out what I don't need later on. So there's like a tar block, okay? Skyscraper. All right, and we'll do the opposite. We'll do a really thin, uh, like a flatter one. So, so again, 30 degrees, 30 degrees instead of going up the vertical a lot I'm only going to come up to about there and I'm going to come away out to here so like a slab like a, a paving slab or the base of our weather vane so out about here and your vertical your vertical and then these have to be parallel All right. there you go okay so what we'll now do is we'll do a circle uh, a circular disc okay and again you start off with your horizontal your vertical and your 30 degrees and your 30 degrees which is a third of 90 that's not quite a third there but that's not far off it and um, what we'll do is we will sketch our vertical another vertical and we're going to make a cylinder here okay and what you do is on the top surface you divide it into half into quadrants or, and you, you do an arc in there and you do one in here, and you do one in there. This is a three-dimensional circle, and one in there, okay? And then where would that disappear? It disappears a bit there. Where would it disappear? A bit there. And then you bring that round. Like so then you would rub out everything, okay? We get to a point where you don't need the construction lines, and you can just do circles that are three-dimensional. Okay, or you could do a piece of round bar, which is what our stand upright is made out of. So put, putting everything together now, so do your vertical, do your horizontal, do your 30 degrees, that one, very good, 30 degree, but anyway, okay. Do your wee verticals, your vertical, your vertical, it doesn't really matter, as long as you keep everything vertical and parallel, it'll look reasonably good. The middle of that would be across there and across there. There's the middle. Draw our hole in the middle. And I, I'm going to put in our upright and our stand. Round bar and flat bar fit together. So there's the initial um, part of our weather vane that we're making at the moment drawn out and I'd like you to do that and it will take you lots of practice so you'll probably 
be doing lots and lots of cubes and cuboids. That's grand as long as that full page. Oops, that should have been there. Uh, don't be afraid to rub things out and do them again. Just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Doodling, really. It's the only way you're going to learn doodling. All right, let's do another one. So vertical, horizontal. Eventually, you'll not need to put those in. You'll just be able to sketch them. I'll show you that next time. Okay. People do this in different ways. Some people draw these differently. This is the way I've found to be the most helpful. Okay, so just keep going. Um, basically, you don't need the verticals eventually and the horizontals. You need one vertical. Uh, you'll be able to very, very quickly learn how to do it without the horizontal gap lines guiding you. As long as your verticals are vertical and everything else parallel, then it'll work out for you. And you'll have to use the rubber to get rid of these wee bits here. Alright, so that's your homework. Thank you. Bye.